Picture this, a calm blue ocean stretching as far as the eye can see, glimmering in the sunlight. A young child, curious and full of wonder, dips their toes into the water for the first time. Suddenly, out of nowhere, a large shadow moves beneath the surface, slow and graceful. It's some kind of ocean creature, unlike anything they've ever seen. The child can't look away, completely in awe, as the creature glides closer and closer. What happens next? Will the child take a step forward? This is more than just a moment by the water. It's the start of a discovery, a magical encounter you won't want to miss. This unique scene took place in the summer of 2019, when a boy saw a large water animal swimming in the water's teeth while recording a video of his son. The father continued to record and later shared the video on the internet. It soon had more than 50 million views. After that, something unimaginable happened. At the time, they were on vacation in La Gomera, the second smallest island in the Canary Islands, located off the coast of West Africa. The island is famous for its nature and wildlife that are not disturbed by humans. The little boy, named George, was playing in the water, trying to find some small fish. But little did he know that it would attract the attention of something bigger. Before we continue, make sure to subscribe, hit the like button, and click the notification bell for more amazing stories. It is actually quite dangerous to play in the water in that area. In fact, the water teeth in the city of La Gomera are often visited by small sharks that like to bite people's fingers. So George's father quickly pulled him out of the water. But it was too late. Sea animals certainly interested George. Lately, he has become interested in animals, especially sea animals. And now, this is his chance to play with them. The eight-year-old brain is not capable of anticipating danger in the same way as an adult's brain. And that's what Ben, George's father, fears. So, she ran towards her son, screaming. But George pretended not to hear and did not answer his father's call. His eyes were completely focused on the water, where all the small fish were swimming around him. That's why he didn't notice when a horrible and huge creature was approaching him from behind. Ben was only 10 meters from his son. You might think that he was close enough for him to immediately pull his son away from the place, but it was still quite a distance for such a critical situation. George. Luckily, when Ben finally got to where his son was, George was still safe and had all his fingers. The huge beast, which had a wingspan of over three meters, was still close to them. And George, who by then had worried his father half to death, had done the unexpected. He looked at his father with a smile as he pointed at the large sea animal. Daddy, look what I can do. Georgie waved her hand in the air, and that obviously got the animal's attention. And at that moment, he put his whole arm into the water and into the beast's mouth. Ben was completely shocked, and his eyes widened as if he couldn't believe it. I'm playing with my friends. George said to his father. At this time, the cub's entire arm is inside the fish's big mouth. Ben could see all his teeth clearly. He begged his son to stretch out his hand while he looked for a large piece of wood to hit the animal with. But apparently, George was reluctant to hear his words. Don't hurt him, father. Look, he's so cute. Ben looked into the water, saw something amazing. The big animal was a large manta ray that was 3.5 meters long. He definitely didn't intend to bite his child. In fact, it was as if he was trying to kiss his son's arm. George stroked its head and the sea creature floated very calmly. He seems to like you, Ben said to his son. George nodded, but now he started to cry softly. Why, my darling? He wiped away his tears and explained to his father that he was studying about these animals in his biology class. Manta rays, the largest species in this classification, can only live in salty ocean waters. 
So, what is he doing in this fresh water? Immediately, Ben took out his cell phone and called the animal shelter for immediate action. Within half an hour, not only was a group of guards present and ready, but also an emergency helicopter with shipping containers. Suddenly, it becomes a race against time. Every minute a manta ray is in the water of the canal, it will put its life in danger. Trying to save the giant fish, I hope it's not too late, said one of the guards with a worried expression on his face. Immediately, the manta ray, whom George named Frankie, was put back into the water container. Ben and George nervously boarded one of the vehicles to the Stingray location, which took a 15-minute drive. Once in the salty seawater, the manta rays are released. It appears to float on the surface of the water, but it doesn't move. George ran towards the fish, shouting, Why? Why? It was a very moving scene. Tears streamed down his cheeks as he approached the poor animal. And then something amazing happened. Frankie, the stingray, moved as soon as he heard George's voice. George sat down next to his big friend and hugged him. Soon, the giant fish swam out to sea, returning to his old world while keeping the memory of his new friend in his heart. It's a beautiful story with a happy ending. Thanks for tuning in to Spread Channel. Until next time, keep your imagination soaring.